Hi, you're watching Flight Steinberg's YouTube channel. I got some requests if I could do a video on the Renoise Tracker running on Raspberry Pi. And who am I to reject this request? Here we go. As always, we start with a short overview on the hardware used for today's video. Once again, this is focused on the software, so all you'll need is a Raspberry Pi 4 or better, a sound card like this Raspi soundboard and perhaps a MIDI keyboard, which makes recording chords so much easier. So, Renoise is a tracker a lot of people recommended me to check out. On Raspberry Pi it's easy to install, or so it seems. Just go to the Renoise homepage, go to the download section and there it is, already compiled for Raspberry Pi. Once it's downloaded, untar the archive and execute the installer. And right after installing, you'll get some warnings that you should set your CPU governor to performance mode and activate real-time audio in Jack and also, so let's do that. First, install the CPU frequency utilities by entering the command shown on screen right now. Then, enter sudo CPU frequency set minus R minus G performance and press return. Then, edit slash etc slash init.d slash CPU frequency utils and find the line reading governor equals on demand and change that to performance. Next, run sudo respi config, go to advanced options and turn off compositor. Do not reboot yet. Instead, edit slash etc slash security limits.conf. Scroll to the end of that file and enter pi minus rt prior 99 and pi minus nice minus 10. By the way, pi is the user account name you're running the tracker under. Now save this file and reboot your computer and then Renoise should run flawlessly. Let's take a look. And here is Renoise's main window. On the top left there's a transport control, play, record and stop. The big area here is the tracker where you can enter notes and events on multiple tracks. Every column in this table represents one MIDI track or sample track. On the left side there's an overview showing all the sequences you have in your project. Down here we have a collection of effects plugins and some track settings. And up here you can switch screens from track view to mixer, plugin or MIDI settings. And last but not least, on the right you can load samples or instruments, which are all multi-layered samples, and plugins. Let's begin by creating a standard 4 to the floor beat. On the right side you can see some instrument slots in the top corner. Choose one slot and then load a bass drum sample by using the fire navigator in the bottom right double clicking one sample. You can use the small arrow button to navigate through the file folders. Now select the first column in the table and press escape to activate recording mode. If you don't press play or hit the space bar, you're in step recording mode now. Using the MIDI keyboard or the computer keyboard, you can enter some notes. You can move the cursor around with the arrow keys or you can just adjust step length by pressing ctrl and the number. For example, to enter quarter notes, you can hold ctrl control and four and then fill the pattern with kick drums. Now let's add a snare drum. In the top right select another instrument slot and then load a snare drum sample using the file navigator. Now choose track 2 and add the snare drum on the 2 and the 4. And last but not least let's add a closed hi-hat on track 1 in between the bass drum notes. As before load a hi-hat sample into the third slot, select track 1 and then just add the hi-hat notes there. Now we have this beat. Now let's add a bass track. As I didn't find a bass sound suitable for the direction I had in mind here, I quickly compiled Synod sub effects to have a native VST plugin available here. If you want to know how to do this, I made a whole video on this and I'll link it here for you to watch. And once the synth is compiled and installed, Renoise will automatically find it on startup and you can put it on the track using the instrument selector in the right column. Double click the entry in your instrument list to open the plugins use interface and select a sound, for example this FM bass here. Now I'm going to record live on my MIDI keyboard here, which leaves us with this result. So 
Some minutes have passed and I've added a pad sound and some sampled instruments. Sounds like this. Track 6 plays at chords and there's a sidechain effect reacting to the bass drum on track 1. I made this by dropping a signal follower plugin on track 1 and a gainer plugin on track 6. The signal follower plugin has that gainer plugin as a destination. Adjust the minimum and maximum sliders to get that pumping sound. I also added a couple of delay cars and reverb effects, some compressors and filters to go along with the vocal and instrumental tracks. Another thing I've added here are some female vocal samples that Music Radar released as a freebie some days ago, link is in this video's description. As you can see, on the sample tab you can easily drag samples from the file explorer into a key group and assign them quickly by dragging these zones with the mouse. And now let's turn this sequence into a song. In the left column I'll just create some copies of this track and arrange them all in the timeline. Here's the first copy and now I'll only change the chords here while the pad is playing, but I'll also create more patterns for a build up and a drop in this song. One question my viewers had was if you can use Renoise as a plugin in Reaper using Rewire. So let's try that. Here's Reaper. I'll create a new plugin track and when I search for Rewire that plugin simply doesn't exist. But don't worry, there's a fix for that. Instead of Rewire let's just use the Linux audio subsystem. What you want to do here is to install QJackCTL and A2J MIDI D. Then launch QJackCTL and then a to J MIDI D and then start Reaper and Renoise. Now for this example I want to use this piano plugin which is native to Renoise in Reaper. So I'll load this into track 1 of Renoise. Now open QJackCTL and click on the graph button. What you see here is a diagram of all MIDI and audio connections in your system right now. So let's connect the MIDI out of Reaper to the MIDI in of Renoise. You can now also connect the audio out of Renoise to the audio in of Reaper to capture the audio as a WAV file in Reaper if you want to. Now in Reaper create a new MIDI item, enter some nodes and there it is. Reaper is controlling the piano plugin in Renoise and I hope this answers your question. Some viewers also pointed out it's possible to install your own extensions quite easily. For example, here's a script that creates a piano roll style editor. Just download these extensions from the Renoise webpage and drop them into the Renoise window and then you can use them immediately. So in the meantime I've finished my track which now has grown to 14 patterns and I'll just play it to you now. This is running on the Raspberry Pi 400 without modifications and CPU usage for this song is around 25%. So all in all I really enjoyed my time with Renoise on the Raspberry Pi. The app seems to be optimized very well and uh, can do a lot of things without stressing the CPU too much. The ability to install your own extensions and VST plugins is a very welcome addition to the overall workflow which is quite easy to grasp. So thanks for your suggestion and if you want me to cover another specific detail on this software in the future please comment and like this video. Oh by the way if you like content like this and if you want to see more on Renoise or other projects on the Raspberry Pi in the future please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to support what I'm doing here financially you can become a channel member using the button under this video or become a patron over on Patreon. Thank you very much.
Yeah, and that's it for today. The Renoise Tracker running on the Raspberry Pi. And if you found this interesting or useful or both, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.